Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is C Chronicles and I go by that name on all my social media platforms so you can check me out on TikTok as well as on Instagram. Now on this platform guys I post fragrance related content and I post weekly and consistently. So if that sounds like something that interests you and you haven't joined the family please do consider clicking the red subscribe button making sure it turns grey and join the family. I'd very much appreciate it if you became part of us here. To those who are returning, thank you so much, guys, for the continued support. I appreciate you as always. Now, welcome to today's fragrance review video. I did a feature, two, you know, from Paris Corner, packaged like this. So the first one was uh, Eternal Coffee and then Eternal uh, Musk. And then now we have Eternal Meadows. I did say I was going to try and uh, drop this one quickly so that you can make a decision as to which one you want to purchase. So today we're going to be talking or, uh, you know, reviewing Eternal Meadows and it comes in this box identical to the other two boxes except that this is green and then the bottle is like this as well identical to the other two so this is eternal meadows and i'm going to spray it in its box and then we're going to sniff it uh, and then i'll tell you my thoughts so for those who want to see the atomizer for eternal meadows by paris corner that is how it sprays the notes for this fragrance are a throw off they are the sort of notes that are very vague and when that happens uh, I usually smell a rat. You know how we like here. Yeah, we're always looking for alternatives and you're like, mm, okay, Paris Corner. Did you have to be that vague? Did you have to go round and round in circles? Okay, and this is allegedly, I'm going to go with my nose, but I'm going to tell you the nose and why I say they're vague. The top of this fragrance is listed as having figuri. A quote. Now, I don't know whether I am pronouncing that correctly. It's F O U G E R E. So it sounds, it looks like fugue. Okay, a quote, right? So I don't know. That is just what they say is at the top there. And then it has lavender. Okay, so that is how they decided to drop it there lavender. And then it has cedarwood and leaves. So what are leaves? I don't know. Uh, and then at the middle of this fragrance says Oriental Accords, vanilla, wood, patchouli, lavender, and dry amber. And I got this fragrance, sprayed it for the first time. It quickly reminded me of something that I already have in my collection. So I was like, okay, we're going to go with the notes, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm smelling here, right? Opens up with a sweet, uh, semi-minty, little bit minty there, little bit. Don't run away from it because I said it's minty. Uh, uh, very sweet there, a bit moist. That is what you are to expect from this fragrance. Sugary burst. So that is what Eternal Meadows is all about. And uh, there is nothing grassy about this fragrance. So don't let the word meadows it make you run away from this fragrance. I actually held up on purchasing this fragrance myself because... Uh, the stockist had eternal coffee and they had this one. I was like, mm, I don't want another green fragrance that I'm not sure of, you know, because I'm not very big on a green fragrances. So I guess the meadows part of this fragrance is coming from the fact that they have listed uh, leaves there in the knot pyramid, but it's not that green. You're going to have like just faint ain't underlying greenness but if you're not into green fragrances like myself do not run away from this fragrance guys as for oriental notes guys i'm not sure whether they mean it's got sandalwood it's got coumarin or raisins or whatever it is anyway i'm gonna cut to the chase with this one and tell you what i perceive and do take note i'm going by my nose i'm not trying to argue with the perfumers or paris corner i wasn't there when this one was being made I am just going with my nose and I'm going to tell you what my nose is extracting from this fragrance. I get an aromatic nutty feel from this fragrance. I also get a bitter feel from this fragrance, which I sometimes get when a fragrance has an inclusion of uh, cardamom. So there's a little bit of a bitter feel there. Um, there's something that feels like hazelnut there because like I said, it does feel nutty. There is a slight, slight greenness here. And no, I'm not contradicting myself because I did say that it doesn't feel green. There's the green is bouncing off what feels like pistachio okay so if you know the pistachio nut you will know that you cannot outright call it green but it does have like a green nuance to it that is how the greenness is coming across here of course with that bitter you know cut when i sprayed this fragrance for the very first time there was a familiarity to it and i kept on sniffing and i was like no wait a minute and I guess my brain was in denial, guys, because Yum Pistachio Gelato 33 by Keali is a fragrance that is not even six months old. If it is, 
then it's maybe not more than eight months old. So I was thinking, no, there's no way, you know, Paris Corner could have spinned it around so quickly. And no, according to Paris Corner, this is their own creation. And with all due respect, this could very well be their own creation. However, I am saying there is a very distinct similarity here to Yam Pistachio Gelato uh, 33, uh, to an extent that if you like that DNA, you're gonna love this. So. Whether in the perfume factory by coincidence, they put ingredients there and it just happened to be very similar to that, I don't know. The color of the bottle as well made me think, hmm, am I right or am I right? Okay, so what I'm gonna say guys is if you love Yam Pistachio July 33 by Kelly, you're gonna love this one. Uh, if you are the sort of person that wanted to know whether you should buy that one and you wanna sniff the DNA, this is similar in a way, to that one so it's going to give you like a great representation there where they kind of part ways is with my yam pistachio gelato though it started off flat and it started off not long lasting it has turned into a beast and this for now i'm going to say is not beastly however if it's going to follow that path of yam pistachio gelato 33 then this is going to be a beastly fragrance but for now i'm going to say it does stick around for about five hours four to five hours on about 10 10 12 15 sprays this you're gonna be smelt and you're gonna smell it around you it's not very long lasting for now um to me it opens up almost identical it jives almost identical it's just in the dry down there where in yam pistachio it gives me like a perfumey uh crisp refined feel where this one kind of feels flat but then again, don't dismiss this one because like I said, Yam Pistachio started like that. It's just macerated to become a very nice, beastly, crispy, perfumey, perfumey kind of fragrance, which maybe this one is gonna turn into, I don't know. In terms of uh, the projection for this fragrance, two, two meter scent bubble, people are gonna smell you. It's not room feeling uh, and it doesn't, leave that much of a trail let me just cap it at that because it is fairly new guys in my collection so it could be a fragrance that macerates to something better and uh, bolder and louder but yes so far it smells very very similar to yum pistachio gelato if you love that one you're gonna love this fragrance it's not in a way uh overly green so don't let the color of this fragrance put you off um it just gives wafts off you know wafts off like a minty pistachio light greenness there uh, not exactly being green as in leafy because they have put in a note pyramid that it, in, it is inclusive of leaves so, so don't judge this fragrance based on that thinking it's going to be very green i get a very sugared fragrance here However, do take note that it does dry down a little flatter there, uh, a little more powdery there where the um, pistachio is a bit pronounced there in the pistachio in the dry down. Does this one have uh, ice cream and all those uh, nice notes that, uh, you know, are included in yam pistachio? Because, you know, you, 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 you got nothing on Mona when it comes to notes. She dumps a ton of notes there. Uh, let me quickly say, I do not get like an ice cream creamy note here, no. But I do get like a passive marshmallow vibe here because of that sugar thing that I did say is inclusive in this fragrance. But, you know, don't buy this one looking at the Keali Yam Pistachio notes and thinking, oh, it's gonna be creamy. It's gonna be have, it's gonna have that ice cream. It's gonna have that, uh, you know, uh, yummy, yummy feel. No, but it does feel a lot like that fragrance. That is what I can say, guys, about Paris Corners Eternal Meadows expect a fragrance that you are going to have to reapply maybe after about five hours on 10 sprays uh expect a fragrance that might macerate to something thicker but for now it is performing average and that is it guys for today's video that was paris corners eternal meadows i have brought you the three uh you can sit through the three and then compare which one is best for you i'm gonna link them in the description box below c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today i do hope you have subscribed if not then please do consider joining us here by subscribing turn on post notifications as well that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this video guys and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers